Well, hey guys, here it is. I can hardly believe it. Man, for a garden tractor to travel from Connecticut to Washington State, that's got to be some kind of record, I'd say. Um, so this video is going to be the start um, of a little series I'm going to do on it. And for this one, I am devoting it to you guys, the Bowens community. Uh, without your guys' help, I would not have been able to, uh, to get the tractor. So uh, to get something like this so far out of the way, um, it would only have been possible without um, help of others. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, I've put together a list of people that I want to recognize in this video. Uh, one gentleman in particular, I'm going to make another video just recognizing his work um, as he went above and beyond um, everything that he did on it. And he deserves the credit. Uh, absolutely tenfold and I'm just so uh, grateful to him uh, for all that he did on this machine. Uh, I picked it up yesterday in the afternoon and uh, getting it home I had a blast with it. It was dark and rainy and cold but um, and she only has one dim headlight working right now but that didn't stop me from having some fun. As you can see the tires are actually still pretty muddy. Uh, I didn't spray them off as I thought the evidence would be kind of fun just to show in the video of the last night's adventures, I guess, with it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Then um, I'm going to actually use, look at my phone. Uh, I've wrote a bunch of notes down, and if I hadn't done that, I know I'd watch this video later and go, oh shoot, I should have mentioned that, or, you know, something. So I, that's why I'm going to be looking at that a little bit, so... First off, Kevin, um, also known as Wrenching on it, he's the one that um, did all the all the work to this machine, and um, I really cannot thank him enough. What originally was just going to be a bolster change out, um, he went above and beyond it. It did so so many other things to this machine, and I'm going to go through all that in the next video, which I'm really looking forward to making. Um, and he was also the one that planted the seed originally um, about this machine. I remember a couple years ago I was tilling with my 1886 um, that had a loader on it too. And um, it does, that one did not have power steering unlike this one. And the steering was really heavy on it because of the loader. And um, I also have another side hobby for diesels. And um, I had asked him, I said, hey, do you know of any HD? HT20Ds out there, which are the two-cylinder uh, large-frame Bowens model. And he said, well, I can do you one better. I know of an HDT1000. Contact Dave South. And so that's how the ball got rolling. So uh, my main man for sure is Kevin by far. Uh, next person would be Rick, uh, Rick Bowens' man. Uh, thank you so, so much for storing this for so long and being the caretaker. I know it, it took up space in your garage, and um, you did so much uh, to help me out with that and supplying parts for it and my previous machine, too. Um, as of recently, you helped Jeff um, load it up and tie it all down and wrap it up and everything. Thank you so much. And then also for taking the pictures and starting it up on occasion and circulating the fluids and things. Thank you so much, Rick, for all that. Uh, Dave South, um, he's deceased now, of course, but um, he helped uh, put me in touch with the owner, the previous owner of this tractor. Um, he was, Dave was a great guy, I enjoyed talking with him uh, once over the phone, and um, he, he also had an HDT-1000, um, and he did a lot of extensive research on the model. There's not a lot to be found out there, but he did a lot of research, and he had a lot of theories and things like that. And, uh, it was fun picking his brain and uh, reading about the research he had done um, online and things like that. He was very, uh, very much enthusiast of the of the brand and, and the model too. That again, there's not much to be found out there, but he did everything that he could to to locate information on this particular export only model. Uh, Bob would be the previous owner that I got the machine from, uh, so I thank him for the opportunity to own it. Um, he said that it had a hard light before him. Bob was the second owner of it. He purchased it from a friend at work and uh, Bob had done some uh, repairs to it um, himself. And um, So yeah, I had to give, give Bob my thanks for that. Uh, David uh, from Sweden. 
Um, he built the custom uh, steel bolster for the front. Uh, originally the uh, cast iron one was cracked on this machine, so I had a steel one made by David, and that's a nice upgrade for it. Um, it helps tie the, the loader in and um, will, be a, will go a long way in the longevity of this machine. Um, Alfonso, um, I have to thank him for the help that he gave me um, in terms of a reference for somebody who could help me out with shipping. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I have to ship this machine a lot of times, three or four different times at least, uh, to, for the different uh, parts along the way. It stopped and uh, went from Connecticut to Rick's place, and then it went from Rick's place to Kevin's place, and then it went from Kevin to Rick, and man, it went so many different places. So uh, after Kevin was done doing the work that he did to it, um, it was then going to go to the loader shop, compact tractor and components. And uh, I found somebody on U-Ship that had good reviews but when they showed up. Their uh, truck was frame was cracked, so we weren't going to do that, especially with a uh, rare machine like like this. So um, I reached out to the Bullens community, and Alfonso put me in touch with Jeff, who was apparently coming to Pennsylvania where the tractor was. Uh, to pick up some parts from Rick, and uh, he was going to be going in the same direction that the tractor was going to need to go, and um, so I reached out to to Jeff, and um, who I'd never even talked with before, and, uh, and he was kind enough to do this. So um, I really thank you so much, Jeff, for for hauling the tractor for me and um, making a making a friend too. That's that's so awesome, and. Um, you had to go through snow. You sent me pictures of that along the way, and um, even rented a U-Haul trailer too. So I, I can't thank you enough. It really says a lot about you and everybody on this list too, for that for that matter. I've never even met you in person before, and so that's just unreal to me that you would go out so far out of your way to help out somebody like that um, that you only know online. So thank you so much, uh, everybody, and um, Jeff for hauling it. Um, hundreds of miles too. I, um, I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, driving it a little bit and, and seeing it. So thank you for that. Uh, next would be the um, compact tractor and component CTC. Uh, the crew there, Rod, Brandon, and Stacy, uh, thank you so much for creating such an awesome design. Uh, the loader, I, it's just, um, it's very beefy. It's, it's just an amazing piece. Um, there's lots of things to it. You, they had actually never even done one for a Bowens before, let alone an HDT 1000. So uh, this was this was quite the project, and uh, they did a wonderful job of making a, uh, just a very professional and heavy-duty design. I know I'm a picky guy and um, wanted certain aspects about it, and they were able to accommodate all of that. And I will do a separate video uh, featuring just the loader. Uh, Stu. Um, he created the seat. I'm going to put on the seat. This is not the one that he made, of course. Um, but he made a seat for my previous machine. That was um, just a very—it's just a very nice seat. I can't wait to put it on here. He did a very nice job with the Bolins lettering. So that's a really neat piece. Uh, Brian Bolins. Um, he supplied the three-point hitch uh, top link bracket. I was missing that for the even 11 rear end that I needed uh, for that. So thank you. For for that piece. Um, oh, and then Ken, um, I call him my Bowens pen pal. Um, he's been very interested in the project and enjoy following, uh, his projects too. He's a master fabricator, and we've actually been talking about doing a uh, reproduction HDT 1000 muffler, as this one's uh, seen better days for sure. So that'll be a fun future project. And uh, lastly, um, would be giving thanks to the Lord uh, to be able to own such a unique piece here on earth. Uh, it's just a, a blessing. We can't take our earthly treasures um, to heaven, so it is a, a real blessing and uh, gift to be able to own something like this. And I want to feature the signatures on the hood, uh, which are cool. I had some of the people um, sign the bottom of it which, that have um, been very instrumental in the help that they've given me 
and of course that would be Kevin on top, Rick, Jeff, then the guys at CTC, Brandon and Rod. And so I can't stress enough, um, you know, I'm in Washington State and this tractor is in Connecticut and so it, it wasn't even a couple states over, it was as clear across the country as you can get and um, I, I truly cannot thank you guys enough for the help um, that you've given me. I hope that I can meet you guys in person someday and help you guys out in some way too. I'll do a little startup of it. And I will be making other videos of it. I'll do one of the loader and what it's like to drive and go over the whole machine. But this one I just wanted to recognize um, you guys, the Bullens community, and the great people that um, have helped me out with this project, especially Kevin. Thank you so much. You went way, way, way above and beyond um, what I could have ever imagined. Uh, the machine certainly would not be what it is today without your help in particular. Thank you again, guys, and uh, stay tuned for...